Hi everyone. Still now we were. Uh, I think we almost discussed about all good companies. Uh, we discussed about Microsoft. We discussed about Infosys, TCS, Cognizant. Now it's Mindtree. Most uh, I think all the company names you would have anyways heard. Uh, but now you might not know the interview process how it goes on. Now uh, I have picked up Mindtree. I have attended Mindtree too. and uh, it is same as cognizant uh, the interview process of mindtree is same as cognizant as well it has a webcam online test actually when i attended this uh, mindtree webcam online test i hardly attended it for 30 minutes but the round the online webcam test was 3 uh, hours long but then i found it very long lengthy and i was not prepared that is the reason i just gave this uh, online webcam test for 30 minutes and i just closed the test okay and it will be amcad format only amcad format i have previously discussed in uh, in my previous video about the cognizant uh, one uh, as i said i just attended for 30 minutes and i just closed the interview thing but the thing i got selected and i got a mail for my second technical round so i think you people are trying to understand what i'm going to tell do even though if you don't know just go try and attend uh, if you lose you learn right there's nothing loss if you go try it once you go try it you'll understand what kind of questions are they going to give are they asking everything so you'll you'll get some knowledge about it so i i i personally suggest that you should never miss an opportunity which is coming to you even though you don't know even though you are not prepared go try and fail okay it's okay to fail because once you fail you understand where you are standing right you understand where you are lacking back at that point of time you start preparing that is very good it has happened to me several times and i have got back i have stood up and i have made things happen i think that is how you all should do it okay so as i said uh, the webcam online test it is same as the amcad format it will have a quantitative section uh, and that uh, they'll have 35 questions and they'll give 25 minutes for that quantitative thing and english they'll have 25 questions and 25 minutes and logical reasoning they'll have 35 questions 25 minutes given the last one is computer programming that is coding section 25 questions with 25 minutes coding section is not like uh, implementing or uh, writing some code it is they'll give small snippets of code as i showed you in a cognizant last slide right they'll give some small question and they'll ask you to fix the errors and run it run the code once you run the code you will get a green tick marks towards your left hand side of the system that green tick marks are called as test cases the how many test cases you have actually mm, done it okay so if they are given 25 questions with 25 minutes then obviously it cannot be a coding uh, thing it will be just a questions uh, in which you are supposed to tell whether there is a syntax error or a logical error or something like that okay and round 3 2 uh, and 3 will be your technical round and hr round uh, since you have attended the first round in your home that is in your current location they will just cross check in the second round whether you have uh, honestly attended or you have made some thing fishy things and all so they'll just cross check the code which you have uh, written or the code uh, the coding section which you have uh, written and they'll ask about that mm, they'll just cross check whether you have written it or not or if somebody else has helped you during that process this is what happens in your second round almost it will be a technical round the last round will be an hr round it will be a basic discussion uh, so obviously all of you know in the hr round they'll just give they'll ask you for your personal information what you're doing what your family is doing what your cousins brothers are doing like that that is it so mindtree is all about uh, uh question uh, pattern questions so most of you have heard about pattern questions right that is pyramid print a pyramid and print a half pyramid using stars or using numbers so the pattern programs is the main thing that mindtree concentrates on so program to print half pyramid using alphabets program to print full pyramid using star find the substring of a given string and replace it with another string so the mindtree mainly concentrates concentrates on pattern programs strings and arrays once you're strong with this i'm damn sure you can clear this interview I hope you people understood the rounds of mind tree and how it goes on since even I have attended I can surely say it is easy for you to crack as well thank you if you have any doubts please let me 